This is a weather vane project for a plasma cut. Found an old magazine with a horse weather vane. I used John Walsh's Logic Trace CNC DXF drawing program. I masking taped the drawing down to the drawing board. And now we're going to define the four corners, the boundary around our diagram. I like to mark the spot where I start with a red pencil. John's program has a few selections for drawing. This time I selected polylines tracing. The tracing is simple. You just follow the line with the cordless pen. And if you mess up, just stop it, edit it, take it out and start again. I like the cordless pen because it gives me the flexibility to move my hand around so I can see exactly where the pen tip is touching. Because the pen has such a fine point, it gives you a very accurate trace of the diagram you're drawing out. There were five sections to this diagram, so I had five saves on the file. But the file is only one DXF file. going to use Aspire 8.5 to check my vector quality and to do any editing I have to do. The vectors are good. There's one small spot there that I'm going to have to cut that vector out. So what I did here was I cut the vector and I just closed the vector after I cut that piece out. Here I'm resizing the diagram. I've made the diagram 20 inches by 10. You want a good quality vector or a good quality trace because the machines, like a plasma machine, when it cuts this vector file, if there's any errors, it messes up the cut. I always run my files through the simulator just to check to see how it looks. And it looks good. I'm ready for the cut. I'm at the plasma operator shop and we're getting ready for the cut. We made two cuts. We made a trial cut and the final cut. You can see the trial cut at the bottom there. This is the final cut. Everything's tuned up and it looks good. This also shows the quality of the drawing DXF file that we made. The plasma operator was able to take this file, no editing, just put it right to the machine and cut it. All he had to do was put in his lead-ins. I'm always impressed with the smooth cut that plasma does, because I'm a woodworker, not a metal person. To me, I always feel that metal is rough and sharp. I took some pictures using different backgrounds to show the metal. The plasma operator washed the metal with a solution, so it took all that griminess off. So the weather vane is all set to go.